Hey everybody, today on the Artemis Channel we are canoeing through the Madera Canyon on the Rio Grande River. Madera Canyon is located in the Big Bend Ranch State Park, which is the largest state park in Texas. It's just upstream from the Big Bend National Park. Madera Canyon is just a little bit west of Terlingua, just a short ride up FM 170. Our trip was with Big Bend River Tours. We left there first thing in the morning, and let me tell you what, the scenery going out 170 is just absolutely breathtaking. FM 170 might be one of the most scenic rides in Southwest Texas. With elevation changes and lots of twists and turns, I bet it's a lot of fun on a motorcycle. We did get to see some javelina and these awdad here across this ridge. So that was kind of cool to see some of the exotics that are in Texas. Obviously the real star of the show is the opportunity to canoe on the Rio Grande through Madera Canyon. I mean, that's why we came, right? So they have us put in on this camping area with a beach and you can see that it's pretty calm and it's a pretty wide section of the river. The guides are very patient. Uh, they had a lot of novice canoers. My wife and I have done some canoeing on still water, you know, lakes and ponds and things like that. But this was our first time doing anything in, in moving water. And some of the folks that we were with had never been in a canoe before. As I said, the guys from Big Bend River Tours are really patient. They're very knowledgeable. Obviously, they know the river like the back of their hand. And they take these novice canoers, canoeists, canoers? Anyway, they take all these folks that have never seen a canoe before, and they get them out here, and they teach everybody the, the techniques needed to make the thing go where you want it to go. And by the time we got to the end, everybody could do it. So kudos to these guys. They did a really good job. The patience of a of a saint because i tell you what the beginning was like herding cats it was just it was really fun to watch once they get everybody going in the right direction it went really smoothly uh, we got to go up here into the bottom of the canyon and stop on this little sandbar and everybody got to get out and take pictures and kind of walk in the water a little bit and just chill and kind of enjoy the scenery and, and being in the canyon it wasn't until later on that I learned there was a movie filmed here that came out in 1985 called Fandango. It starred Kevin Costner and Judd Nelson. In the movie, Kevin's character runs down to the edge of the canyon wall and hoists up a bottle of Dom Perignon and yells, Here's to us, by God. Of course, these things get myths, and the myth is that he ran out there to the edge of that canyon wall, and, and there's nothing to stop him from going off the edge. And I'll tell you what, we were pretty close to that spot here later on that afternoon. And there's no way I'm going to run out there and, and hoist a bottle of Dom and yell. It'd be like if I could crawl out there. After that, we got everybody kind of underway. Uh, it was a pretty leisurely paddle for the remainder of the trip. Now that I think about it, there was this one section. I don't want to pretend that this is like rapids or anything like that, but... You know, it's certainly, there's a little bit of current, but you know, you can see that the guys are standing in the river. There's one behind us and there's one in front of us and he's ankle deep, so it isn't like it's dangerous. Once we get everybody through this section here, it was uh, a short paddle down to the exit area, which is really a little beach that they've kind of cut into the, the side of the bank and uh, our day was done. Later that evening, my wife and I went back to kind of soak up some of the, I don't know, ambience of, of the area. Um, we wanted to get some footage of sunset, and it was just kind of neat to be in that canyon area. It was really a, a cool experience. We definitely want to go back and explore not just Big Bend National Park, but you know, the state park as well. It's just a, a really cool area to kind of hang out. We've got a new sponsor we want to welcome. We want to thank the Naughty Shop up in Salcha, Alaska for coming on board. They've got a, a cool gift shop up there. And if you're ever up in Salcha, Alaska area, be sure to check them out. If you like what you see here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.